Hello everyone. So today in this video, I will be reviewing the SXC Cosmetics. This was sent to me by them and I am so grateful. It was like Christmas day opening up this box. So I just wanted to show you some of the things that they had sent me. I'm going to open the boxes. We're going to look at everything and then I'm going to probably have like a part two because there's just so much stuff and I will make sure to link everything below. So as we get into it, this box here reminds me a little bit of the Beatles. It's the nail tips and glue gel kit. So let's dig into this one. Again, super cute packaging, I just love it. So an A plus on the packaging, SXA, good job. So as we open this box, there is your instruction card and very detailed instructions, I may say. Yes, very detailed. And that's good because, you know, somebody might be getting this and not know what to do. That's why we have tutorials, right? So there's the nails, a nice big pack of nails, and then you get the glue gel, nice little bottle there, and then the cute little curing lamp. It, it looks like a little robot or something. And these, I noticed the Beatles has the same exact style. So this little box is the Lazy Girl Glue Gel, and it's the three-in-one glue base and slip. Now, I have never seen anything like this before as far as a three-in-one, so I think this is a fabulous concept, and I cannot wait to use this. And the next box we have is the Mini LED Lamp. So this is really cute. Um, I've seen these a lot. Like I said, Beatles has the same style as the Beatles curing lamp. So anyway, the only thing I don't like is the fact that you have to um, unplug it to turn it off. It doesn't have an option or like a tap option, but no big deal. So then they also sent me a double pack of the glue gel, the three-in-one glue base and slip. So that's always good to have. And these are nice size bottles, guys. They're, they're like, um, you get two 15 milliliter bottles with this little pack. So that's good. And then they also sent me the nail art gel liner set. This I've seen on some other videos. I've seen some other YouTubers show this and yes, it is correct. They, some of the colors don't match, like they don't match the bottle, but it's really not that big a deal. They really are nice. They do remind me it's actually the same exact packaging as uh, Kiara Sky. So, and towards the end of this video, I'll show you like a comparison, but that also comes with an instruction card. Another thing I like about their packaging, and you don't see this often on the box, it shows that it is low odor, it's toxic free, safe for skin, natural resin, cruelty free and vegan. So that's pretty cool to know. The next box is the gel nail polish extension kit, and you're supposed to get six pink, pink colors with the XX nail tips and glue starter kit. So lots of goodies in this box. You get your directions, which is awesome. You get a nice pack of nails. I have nails out the wazoo, let me tell you. <laughs> this stuff would be great for a giveaway, no joke. So, um, and then of course, again, we get the cute little mini nail lamp. There he is again. So, here's the polishes. Everything is packed very well in these boxes. So I could never see where something could leak or break. You never know, especially with the way packages are handled these days. <laughs> I get a lot of stuff damaged in the mail. So you also get a cute pack. It says Trendy Nails Accessories, Nail Decorations, and they are actually really cute. And the last box in my PR kit actually kind of surprised me. I didn't realize I was going to be getting this, but I was super excited and super happy. So there is the card again, instructions for everything, which I absolutely love and appreciate. So as I'm opening the box, I see this card and I'm like, wait a minute, that's a little cat paw. Oh my God, it's a little LED lamp. <laughs> and I'm like, what, that's so cute. So as always, they give you ample supplies. So there is your brush, your files. And then I lift this little cutie out and um, I just was so overjoyed because I love everything cats. Little kitties, I have two of them and they're my babies, my little fur babies. Guys, look how cute this is. <laughs> I'm like, no freaking way. I showed my daughter, she just started laughing. I'm just like, this is the freaking cutest nail lamp I've ever seen. 
And there's your on and off button. It is between 24 to 48 watts. Um, the shape of it is adorable. It is a sensor, so you just pop your hand right in there. But it looks like it's made for four fingers, but I have small hands, so. And I was thinking, though, I didn't notice it in the picture. You can't see the paw. So I guess that's why I had no idea it was an actual little cat paw. Anyway, here is the collection of polishes that comes with this kit. I believe it's supposed to be the Grey Nude Pink collection, and I don't have them in any specific order, but there are the swatches, and then you get your glue gel, your cuticle oil, and your big bag of nails. So they do give you a lot. And one thing I noticed in all the boxes and all the packs of nails that I have received is the quality of the nails. So. I, it's weird, I have little hands, but like my thumbnail's pretty wide. And sometimes it's hard to find a nail that fits from sidewall to sidewall perfectly. Seems like that's a challenge for a lot of us, but I did not have that issue with these nails. They're made very well, um, almost like a gel consistency, but I wouldn't say they're gel nails because they're not, but I really like the curvature. I love the shape. And like I said specifically, how they fit. You see how wide that is? It really does fit my nails perfectly. And then I did our nail test to see the quality of the plastic. And it did not disappoint. Look at how the white line just disappears. There's like a smidgen of it, like I think at the end, but clearly these are good quality nails. So now we're gonna jump into our little package of goodies that they had sent with this. As you can see, there is a file, there is a cuticle pusher, a wax pencil and nail clippers and a brush. So these this cuticle cutter is actually pretty good. I've used them in the past. There's your clippers, good quality, definitely on the clippers. I thought it was really nice that it included the nail cutters. However, this is a cheaper version. Um, it, it's definitely kind of squeaky. It doesn't feel as sturdy as my everyday nail clipper. But still, I like the fact that they included that because, you know, somebody trying this kit out for the first time, they may not have all of these items. So I think it's really cool that they include all that. I really, I, I like the file. I just don't like the size of it. Um, it's 100, 180 grit, needs to be bigger, needs to be a little longer. Pencil is a pencil with the wax end so you can pick up your, um, your little diamonds or whatever. And then your cuticle pusher, and I have about 50 of these, so I just kept it in the back as well as the brush. So I have all my nails sized and we are going to proceed with the gel application. I do have a peel off base coat on my nails. They are already prepped, but for the sake of this video, because I take my nails off shortly after I apply them, I have to preserve the integrity of my natural nails. So with that said, we are going to proceed. And with this, I, I do have the um, instructions in front of me. And as you can see, as you apply the gel, you want to make sure the biggest thing besides your prep is that you don't get any bubbles in the gel. And I wanna mention that I notice I love the viscosity of this gel. It is not too thick, it is not too runny, it just glides right on and is probably one of the easiest gels I've ever worked with. I mean, there is not one bubble in that nail. Check that out. Like, seriously, I was really impressed. So there they are, all applied, and I am in love with the shape. They're perfect, like seriously, they are perfect. Just look at that curve, it's not too much, but it's, they're just, I love them. So when you're all finished with your curing, you definitely wanna turn your lamp off and you have to unplug it, so bye-bye little guy. <laughs> now at this point, I'm gonna just cut them down, file, buff, and I'm gonna let this video run, and we will be back with the gel polish application. And I just wanted to shout out again to this glue gel because it is a unique formula. I mean, it's a regular base coat, a nail glue, and a slip solution. So it's just really cool how unique that is. So here we are with our little pole lamp. As you can see, it's censored. The only thing, it's a little flimsy, guys. Look at the bottom. 
that if you drop it is going to crack it's going to pop off so yeah just keep an eye on that make sure you don't drop it <laughs> anyway here are the polishes These gel polishes apply like a dream. They are so creamy and so opaque. Don't mind my dry looking fingers, but I was really impressed with the quality of the polish as well. The colors are very beautiful. I mean, perfect for spring. Just look at that pink. That is the type of pink I freaking die over. Like, it's like a bubble gummy, I don't know, Barbie type pink. I just love it. So even this color would be great for like the fall but it's still pretty. I would even wear it in the summertime. The only color I had trouble with where I actually had to apply more than two coats was this color, number 41. It's very sheer. And as you can see, I mean, it, it's a pretty color, but I just, I don't like how it looked like blotchy. I cured them for 60 seconds and they came out looking really nice. I was really impressed with that little lamp and there was no shrinkage of the polish. There was no bumps or dents or anything like that. So I was really happy with how these turned out. They just, the nails themselves, the application, the polish, the end result just really, really impressed me. So at this point, I'm just going to apply some top coat and then I'm going to use the cuticle oil. Now, the cuticle oil does have a slight scent. It's nothing overpowering. It's not fruity. Um, it's very light fragrance, if anything, but it did its job and I was really happy. And now we're on to the gel art portion of this video. If you stuck around this long, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I try not to do videos that are too, too long, but I just wanted to get all this in because I love these products. Here are the gel art paints, and I'm going to do some real quick swatches. So I just wanted to show here, we have three different brands, not Polish, Kiera Sky, and SXC. The one thing that they all have in common is the wand is great for application, except the fact that a lot of the paint falls down, as you can see, it's on the opposite end. And it just makes such a mess when you're trying to do detailed artwork. So that's why a lot of us resort to our art brushes and just put the paint on a little art palette or we just dip the brush directly into the bottle. So it is what it is. I'm not really complaining. I just wanted to point this out that it just seems to be an issue and that at times it's really difficult to apply the art using the actual brush. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was so long. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification.